Uh, part of that is council with costs, and city council members can square those two factors in many, if not all, of their decisions. Looking at the municipal projects underway in Terre Haute, uh, as well as those planned for the future, such as uh, work done at the wastewater treatment facility, do you think the city is progressing at the proper, responsible pace? <clears throat> Um, I'm not sure what pace they should be progressing at. Um, where I come from, uh, the people that I talk to feel very out of touch with the city itself and what these, these uh, programs are that are going on. Um, my, I, I am after getting things in the park with kids. I think there's um, graffiti that has a message in it. It's like, I'm here. Uh, what's there here for me? And I don't see anything that's being done about that. Gilbert Park, we're getting a statue there of a retirement house that we no longer have. I think that's a, a kind of a sore point for some people. But I think it's hard to say about progress. When when you watch a mayor just hand over a million dollar check um, for a museum, which is tied to this hotel, uh, et cetera, um, I'm, I'm not for some of the ways in which the money is being spent. Uh, so, I'm not sure that I can accurately answer the question because I'm not happy with how the money is being spent. So that's my answer. Thank you. Uh, I believe you're probably talking about uh, sewer lines being built, the sidewalks in place, the curbs uh, being uh, uh, cuts being made, ADA ramps and streets being repaired. I, I think we're working at a responsible way right now. I think. The reason we're able to do the things we're doing right now is because of the leverage of our money with 80 20 grant funds, um, which means the public that for every two dollars we we spend or throw to the kitty, uh, eight dollars is spent by the federal state government in return. So that, that's how we're able to do a lot of these projects that we're doing. Uh, if you had a, 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 a fund at your, at your uh, business, place of business that uh, that uh, can ask you 80. 20, I think people would take a great uh, interest in that, and that's what we do, and that's how we uh, get so much done. I, I think we are right now moving in responsible way. Keyword responsible, and uh, I think there are other areas within the city that need to be developed more so than some of the other ways that we have seen our taxpayer dollars being spent, such as. Uh, some downtown developments that I don't believe are going to be as beneficial to the community and to the children. Some of the expenses that, that we've incurred over the past couple of years have been done through federal mandates. We were mandated by the federal government to repair some of the sewer problems that we had, and we didn't do that then all of the tax money that, or all of the money would be paid out in fines. So the city council at that time decided, well, what do we want to do? Do we want to pay out our uh, tax money in fines or do we want to use that money to fix the problem? And of course we chose to use, or some of us chose to use that money to fix the problem. What concerns me or what, what uh, puzzles me is I would be, I, I would rather answer the question and, and say, I would rather us tell someone to slow down and to say, what are you doing? Why don't you speed up? I would rather say, maybe we need to sit, go back a little bit, take a step back, rather than just say, well, we're not moving at all. I think we're moving in a responsible place. I do think that we're moving at a responsible pace. There were several years, there weren't many things done in terrible, not much accomplished. But now we're beginning to see things done, being done, and we're accomplishing things that we need to accomplish. Uh, I feel that the museum is a good thing because if, if you knew how many people come from out of our community to the museum and support the museum, and it's awfully good for our children here in our community. I feel that this is a good project and things are going to get better. So that 30 seconds comes off faster than you did. As far as the uh, sewer 
uh, word goes, I that is my job. I mean, I realize that we have to do this. It is a mandate. I, sometimes I do believe it's going pretty quick, but I don't know what the time frame is. You know that they got to have this done. But as far as the sidewalks and uh, things such as this, I, I don't know who's organizing that. You can go down uh, College Street and turn north on 10th and you'll see to your right for about a half a block a brand new sidewalk. But it's a business and nobody walks down the sidewalk. There's other parts, you know, I, I think that they should think more about where they're putting these things. You know, it's, it's our tax dollars. I would like it spent in a manner that we, we will get something out of it. I don't walk my dogs or walk my kids, you know, down that sidewalk. Thank you. Well, I feel that we're moving at a good pace. But sometimes I agree with George that maybe things are going too fast. But as far as the sidewalks are concerned, the engineer's office comes out and grades the sidewalks, which is again a nine or whatever. He's explained that to me before. And if it's very, very bad, they do replace it. it and there's just so much money. You know, there's only so many dimes and a dollar. But as far as our progress, well, at least we're progressing. We're not just standing still. Uh, I think that things are going okay right now. There was a time when I thought we got to slow it down, and we did slow it. I'm going to use this mic. Makes my, not makes my voice sound lower. <laughs> um, proper pace, uh, short answer is absolutely yes. Um, I'm pretty excited about the progress we've seen in the last few years. Uh, I think we always need to monitor our spending and that's something I will continue to do. Um, I think we also need to listen to those that we uh, are representing in our case, District 5. Um, anytime we can continue to get matching dollars from the federal um, state, we need to continue to do that 80% versus 20% I'm all for that. Um, and lastly, I guess I would say that um, hats off to this administration, I've always heard that um, there are no boats underneath the, the highways and fixing some of those infrastructure things, and it's kind of a bold move to do, to do that, and uh, I think it's something may continue. Moving up to Don Morris. Uh, the pace is outstanding. Uh, the number one topic I remember about is everything that's being done right now at this base. They've never seen so much construction going on in town. Of course it's possible, but the CSO, the combined sewer overflow, has to be addressed now, as George mentioned, or we'll be paying our taxes on just fines. A proven point is the collapse in front of St. Anne's. We lost a car and a hole there. Those have to be addressed now. There's no reason. Once we get our infrastructure up, that's going to attract new business. We have to compete. We have to be able to have new sewers, good sidewalks. We have to take care of the infrastructure first. So that's where your tax dollars are going to 